So, last day of the week, and we have to make a couple of kilometers. Um, I'm only on to, I think, about 23. So, if I want to make 35, I should be running at least 12k. Um, muscle sore from doing a lot of core exercises, and it's windy as frick, man. It's not necessarily a good thing, but. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes today. Uh, my muscles in my lower abdomen and my legs, my upper legs are a bit sore, so we'll find out. But let's start running. It's a nice day. It's a bit cloudy. There's some blue in the sky. It's not really cold, so we need to run without arm armor, which is really nice. So let's uh, let's start running. Getting a really bad headwind when getting on the dike. But uh, apparently, we're not getting a headwind at all. <laughs> Bit from the side, and slightly angled to the back. So, it's actually really nice. So, uh, I can really feel a bit of muscle soreness in my left calf. <laughs> All right, glute, but uh, we're just on 1K, <coughs> at least 11 to go. So let's just keep it slow and keep it solid. I think there's soreness in my left calf. calf. This is uh, dissipating a little. And look at the soreness in my right glute. I was completely left. So that's okay. It's actually pretty good. So uh, let's keep on running. See how we feel in a couple of days. I have a nice bike wind now. So that should save me some energy. And then. Uh, Hope to get it. Hope to get to 12k easy. And uh, maybe make it 13. But we'll see how we feel later.
So, it's been running for, let's see, about an hour and two minutes now. Nine and a half K. Aiming for more aim, I guess. More is, is uh, time on feet and distance. So, I'll just aim for an hour and a half. Which, uh, 28 more minutes of running. That will get us past the 12K mark. And then some. So we'll see how far we get on an hour and a half worth of running. And uh, see how we feel after that. So let's keep going. And uh, See you in a bit. Back in town, Italy buildings. It's a fair change from going to one of my favorite places to just a regular place to run. But I, I mean, when you start getting started, when you're starting out, this is generally what you have to do: run in town, short distances. I just get to go pretty places. I'm lucky I have this one 5k route next to my house. This is uh, like 85% running through the forest, it's running through the woods, or by the woods actually. A big part of it. it does have a highway on the other side, but it's better than running in the middle of the city. So, yeah. Keep it going. for a little a couple seconds it's an hour and a half which is uh, good to get some time on feet because I haven't been running for these time frames for a long time I do assume or I do know that it will help me with uh, building a base uh, I'm making a base, uh, baseline stamina, and uh, making sure I get to running longer distances again, <coughs> because as counts for uh, running faster and running longer, there's only one way you can train that, and that's actually running faster and running longer. So right now, I think getting my base laid down at 35k a week it's pretty decent apart from that I do also do core training I actually do that in a fun way which I'll talk about at a later point in time uh, maybe in another video but um, uh, yeah just getting everything in the training the running the core Stretching, I mean getting it all in and I do, do note that I'm terrible at stretching. I always forget 
I mostly do not enough of it, but just some. So, uh, yeah, you should do all right. I mean, let's keep uh, let's keep it going. We've got a good clear 35k in this week, maybe 36, 37. But uh, got a good effort in this week, so let's keep building. Building that base, building that stamina. I'll see you guys uh, next week again. Later.